I think it's all it's changed all for the better. Uh, when it, it the, the journal originally was I it was I can't remember when it was founded. It was the editor in chief at that time was in, located in New York. The journal then went to uh, La Jolla, California. And that editor was for there for about 14 years, I think. Then it was decided to move it back to the main office to Bethesda because that editor was getting on in years and uh, there was no editor visible there or no replacement editor. And the, the decision was made to go to the five-year cycle. But have the office at the office of the AI. So that re required some doing. Um, I was actually associated with the journal for a long, long time. I was first a reviewer and then one of the so-called section editors. Uh, and then because the first editor-in-chief uh, that uh, was appointed when it moved to Bethesda, was located at NIH. And he had deputy editors to help with decisions, but for convenience chose all of them from NIH, except that led to conflict of interest. So he asked me to be deputy editor responsible for all manuscripts that came from federal labs. So I gained experience as a deputy editor uh, then. And then there was another deputy editor, or as, as editor-in-chief, and I was then following along. The course of things uh, was quite different. Uh, computers were virtually non-existent back in those days. Uh, computer system was really, I think, probably first put in place in, in Bethesda when it was moved, moved there. One of my biggest disappointments as editor-in-chief was I could not get an a, a online s a submission developed. It was because of the three-tiered three review process, whereas the reviewers sent their recommendations to the section editor, section editor to the deputy editor who made the decision. None of the systems were had that included, and the guy that followed, well, who was selected to develop a program didn't. And I'm not sure whether the next deputy ed or next editor in chief was able to get the online submission. Finally, it is in place. Uh, that was one of my big disappointments. Uh, the expenses of it are how challenges uh, are going to be for the online versus print versus exclusive, whatever. That's a problem that's going to be facing. Uh, online, I mean, uh, digital accounting. Uh, first came on when uh, when they moved, well, when the journal moved, I think, when I took over as president, I think we still, at the first year, first of the year, I think there was still pencil and paper accounting, and it was only after that that the accounting system improved. I, I, I may be off by a few years, but I can remember visiting the AA office, maybe it was only as a member, and when there was still pencil and paper accounting.